everybody, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and in today's quick tip I am sharing with you the way that you can cust some of the ways you can customize your view and layout in Outlook. So I'm going to do a very quick overview. I'm not going to drill down into the specifics, but I'm going to show you where you can get started. So from the inbox, we'll start with our inbox because that's where most of us spend our time in Outlook. And I'm working on the desktop version on a PC and I'm using the classic version of Outlook here. So from here, I'm in my inbox. You can see it's very exciting. We only got two emails in it, which is quite rare. And up on the top here from our menu bar, I've headed to the view tab. So you would normally be on your home tab and I've gone to view. So there's a couple of things that we can do in this layout. So in the main window, we can have our focused inbox on or off. I don't use it, but some people do. And if you turn it off, you'll get your unread versus everything. We can change the way we see our message preview, how many lines you see here, or whether you don't want one at all. So if we do it to this folder, you'll see this is what I would get. So I'm just going to go back to two lines, uh, all mailboxes, and that's how it looks. And that's the way I like it because I can glance at it here. The other thing we can do is we can use some tighter spacing so that pulls things together um, and it will pull it back out. And then we've got these three here, which are our folder, our reading pane, and our to-do bar. So the folder pane, I have it at normal. You can have it minimized, which pops it on the side like that, which I find quite tricky. Or you can have it off. Uh, I like to have it on because, as you can see, I'm a big fan of a folder. Uh, the reading pane, which is this section here, which is where if I click on it, I can actually read the email without having to double click and open it up and have another tab open which I can guarantee you I would forget to close nearly every time. So you can have it on the right, you can have it on the bottom, or you can have it off. And there are some options there so you can um, mark things as red, which is a great way to stop your inbox looking like it's really out of control when you've actually looked at things. And the last one here is your to-do bar. And here you can have a to-do bar that shows the calendar and it'll pop up here on the side. This is the kind of classic version that we've all seen. You can also have a people bar, which will add a bit at the bottom where you can see people. You can take that off and just have people. Um, you can have tasks. And again, you could have any combination of these three. So this will be all the different tasks that I have. Or like me, you can have it off. So they're all in your view. You can also see your reminders window, which is this one. You can turn that on and off. I have that on the other screen. Uh, you can set things up to open in new windows and close things here too. And these three at the front are quite handy. So this is where you can change your view. And from here, there's some sets, but you can also create your own views. And in the view settings here, you can set some of these to tell you which columns you're seeing, how you want to group things, how you want to sort them, and any conditional formatting you want to apply. So this is worth having a look at if you are looking for something that doesn't seem to fit the options provided as a standard, you can create your own customized view so that it's going to be more practical and suitable for the way you like to work through your inbox. So get in there and have a play. Remember, you can always undo what you do. So don't be afraid to have a play. Turn something on, then turn something off and just give it a try and see how you go.